Welcome back to my video series. My name is David Long, and I'm here to discuss with you issues at the intersection of technology, regulation, ethics, and law enforcement. Today, I want to discuss with you digital currencies or virtual currencies and money laundering. Bitcoin is the largest capitalized, in terms of capitalization, virtual currency out there. It's decentralized, which simply means that there is no intermediary necessary to conduct a transaction. So most uh, transactions done on the Bitcoin network are done person to person. The concern with money laundering surrounds this lack of a third party intermediary because traditionally in anti-money laundering, the third party intermediary is responsible for anti-money laundering compliance. Uh, there's various regulations in place in the United States, the Bank Secrecy Act and its regulations um, control, um, dictate the money anti-money laundering compliance protocols that have to be followed. Um, and without, with going around that, Bitcoin creates some concern. It's important for me to note though, that the, the, the currency that is used mostly for money laundering is probably the US dollar. Bitcoin doesn't approach the US dollar in the potential for money laundering. One concern though with Bitcoin is its so-called anonymity. It's not actually anonymous, it's more pseudonymous. Um, there are no names attached to the transactions and so Bitcoin does present a different money laundering concern than traditional fiat currencies that are issued by a government. The question then becomes then is how do we deal with the differences in Bitcoin versus fiat currency as far as the threat of money laundering is concerned? Well, that's what we're working on right now. That's what um, those in the Bitcoin space are working on, and as well as regulators in various jurisdictions. I'm not sure how it will play out, but I think the way, uh, the road to take would be to, for regulators to work closely with those in the industry to figure out ways to develop workable regulations that, pr that protect us against the threat of money laundering and, and other, other crimes while still encouraging the growth or what, while not stifling the growth in this nascent technology. The technology itself is highly promising and it should not be stifled. If if, if stifling were to occur, what would happen if happen is Bitcoin would just be driven underground, it would be outside of the regulatory rubric, and only criminals would use it. And that is not what, what would be the best outcome. 